Williams Top 5 Audio Drama Series, 1970 to 2020. Starring me. Number 5, Star Wars. When Star Wars debuted in 1977, it was an absolute phenomenon, becoming one of the largest films of all time. Few avenues of merchandising and tie-ins were left unexplored. But this, I think, is one of the most interesting. Richard Toscan was the associate dean at the University of California's School of the Performing Arts. In 1981, Toscan took on the project of reviving the golden age of radio. He began with some pretty damn interesting adaptations of Raymond Carver's writings, but the success was middling. One of Toscan's students came to him with an idea to reverse engineer the biggest film franchise of the moment, to take Star Wars, a film inspired by those old serials like Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon, and return it to a weekly serial format, to tell this familiar and much-loved story in a whole new way. Fortunately, Star Wars creator George Lucas was an alumnus of USC and knew Toscan personally. When Toscan took the idea to Lucas, Lucas was overjoyed. Selling the rights to the radio broadcasting of Star Wars, again, the biggest movie of the time, for a single dollar. Lucas also threw in complete use of the film's iconic sound effects and music, at no extra charge. Eventually, the entirety of the original Star Wars trilogy was adapted. Mark Hamill, Anthony Daniels, and Billy D. Williams all returned as their famous roles from the films. But, with the rest of the film's cast either unwilling or unavailable to return, the rest of the radio cast was packed with an interesting group of theater vets and character actors. So, if you ever wanted to hear Ed Asner play Jabba the Hutt, Brock Peters as Darth Vader, Ed Bagley Jr. as Boba Fett, or Yoda as played by John Frickin' Lithgow, look no further. Oh, impatient is he? The plot covers a lot of the same events as the films, but with a ton of added material. The storyline elements that cover the events of the first Star Wars film is six hours long, so it's over twice the length of the movie. This gives the story a lot more time to breathe and adds a lot more character interactions that will thrill any Star Wars fan. I for one think they should continue making these. We have six more Star Wars films now, many of which have divided fan bases, and I think there are a lot of people out there who would love to hear alternate and expanded audio versions of these stories. Continuing the Star Wars audio saga, here's hoping. Number 4, Doctor Who. On the subject of sci-fi phenomenons, Doctor Who is a sci-fi program that started playing on televisions in 1963. It was the tale of The Doctor, a quirky alien that gallivants around the universe in a time-traveling phone box. The show was painfully cheap, but there was something there. It was kind of wonderful in its own way. And so the series endured, lasting now over 50 years with only a few major breaks. The program is still on screens today, with many actors having taken on the titular role over the years. With such a long-running TV program, it might surprise people to know that the majority of the Doctor's adventures aren't on television at all. They are, you guessed it, audio dramas. The good people at Big Finish made a staggering number of Doctor Who adventures and spin-offs. Many of the original cast members reprised their roles, so you can revisit your favorite Doctors from Tom Baker to David Tennant. Even actors with shorter tenures in the role, such as David Bradley and the legendary John Hurt, get their own full seasons of adventures. The main range alone has over 250 one-hour episodes, and that's not even including the spin-offs, of which there are many. Some highlights include stories starring the Doctor's nemesis, The Master, with actors like Michelle Gomez and Derek Jacobi reprising their roles as the evil Time Lord. There's the Diary of River Song, following the adventures of the fan-favorite archaeologist. There is even one about the Doctor Who version of Winston Churchill battling aliens, and if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. The old show sometimes struggled with the visual effects side of things, so the program really shines with its leap to audio, where you're only limited by your imagination. These are a ton of fun, so if you're a Doctor Who fan or just thinking of getting into the stories for the first time, be sure to give these audios a listen. Number 3. Neil Gaiman 
Neil Gaiman is a British best-selling fantasy author with a hugely devoted fan base. Hollywood has come knocking a few times to adapt Gaiman's work, but I think that his weird and wonderful worlds were best adapted via audio drama. A great deal of Gaiman's work has been given the audio play treatment, including Good Omens, Stardust, How the Marquis Got His Coat Back, but one of my favorite outings is a really intriguing six-part adaptation of Neverwhere which boasts a truly amazing cast. We're talking James McAvoy, Natalie Dormer, David Harwood, Benedict Cumberbatch, Bernard Cribbins, Anthony Head, and Sir Christopher Lee. A brand new adaptation of the Sandman graphic novels has just been released on Audible with an equally stacked cast. It doesn't get much better than this, folks. Be sure to give them a listen. Number two, The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings novels by J.R.R. Tolkien are truly epic works of literature. Dwarves, elves, humans, epic battles, songs, legends, languages, and second breakfasts are many. The three books in this trilogy have cemented themselves as Western literature classics. In the mid-1950s, the BBC undertook the enormous task of adapting these massive tomes to radio in a 12-part epic drama that played over weeks. This series was unfortunately lost to time, and no known copies survive today. And so, in the early 1980s, the BBC decided to try again, this time with an even more impressive scope of 26 episodes. The results were everything Lord of the Rings should be. Fun, beautiful, and epic. The cast is wonderful. The lead role of Frodo Baggins is given to Ian Holm, who would later rejoin the Rings world as Uncle Bilbo in the Peter Jackson films. His companion Sam is played by one of my favorite actors of all time, Bill Nye, and Michael Horden is the Grey Wizard Gandalf. Car rides will feel so much grander with this on in the background, a wonderful series of adventures to accompany any journey there and back again. And number one. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy It's really rare in the post-golden age of radio that an audio series becomes a cultural phenomenon, but somehow The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy did it. Long past the point in which audio plays were appointment listening, the guide just hit the right nerve to become a cult classic. And you can totally see why. It's infinitely quotable, incredibly creative, and most important of all, it's just really, really funny. This space adventure featuring towels, the babel fish, the end of the world, and restaurants at the end of the universe really struck a chord. Following the success of the radio series, it was adapted to every conceivable medium. A series of novelizations written by series creator Douglas Adams, video games, a miniseries starring much of the original radio play's cast, and a major motion picture. The original series ran from 1978 to 1980, and you can get them beautifully remastered. If after you listen to that you want more of the Hitchhiker's universe, the original cast reunited in 2005 to continue the series into a new phase, adapting Adam's later writings. And the crew got together one last time in 2018 to finish off the series by adapting the final Hitchhiker's Guidebook. It's a really wonderful experience to go through and listen to this whole series. I started listening to Hitchhiker's Guide when I was a kid, and so it was really great hearing the conclusion just two years ago. It was kind of like revisiting old friends. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is everything you would want from radio. It's joyful, sometimes melancholy, and sparks the imagination. It's my favorite series on the list, so please check it out. You won't regret it. Hopefully these lists were helpful to you and you have hours of entertainment ahead. If you have any audio drama recommendations or think I've missed anything, be sure to leave a comment below. Congratulations! You made it to the end! Welcome to the wrap party! Be sure to grab a snack and to like and subscribe to keep on top of all this very good content. I'm William Jordan, until next time.